good to be back, fashion lovers. I know I've been gone for a while, but I've got two extra special videos coming out. This is one of them, so take that off the list. You've got one left, and what is it? That's the Air Dior's. If you follow my Instagram or TikTok, you get sneak peeks on what I'm doing, so you might want to check that out. So, I know my sneakerheads are not quite used to what they're seeing here in this bag. Rough? You guys probably haven't heard of that, but I know the car lovers that searched up this video are well aware and probably just want me to get to the point because they don't really know much about me. But hey, I'm a fashion lover. I do all kinds of fashion stuff, Porsche design. I'm all about it, so why not subscribe? You feel me? So, rough sneakerheads. This is a company that does performance enhancements on Porsches. Now, come on. You know Porsches are cool, right? So, don't click away. Ruff has been around since the 1900s, and they're most known for the Yellowbird. It's like a yellow Porsche, but it's roughed out, and it's record-breaking. It was made in 87. It's in some of the Forza games if you played them, but not any of the newer ones. I'm sorry. What am I, your grandfather giving you the family watch? Let's just get right into the video here. That's right, this is a watch. This limited, limited edition, only 200 of these were made in Germany. I'm number 76. Not anybody's birth here in the family, but... Uh, Soldier 76, Overwatch, anyone? Old game. Here's something that they've done. Like I said, they're historically known for their Yellow Bird, the most renowned company to make Porsche performance enhancements. Did I say that? Most renowned company? They're in Germany. Uh, they were in the U.S. for a while, but I, I guess things changed and they went back. But yeah, I mean, these guys are pretty big. I took this out before and the thing came right off, so let's try to fix that. Squeeze it tight. Boom. Check out that box. There's a chronograph. Nizumi, that's right. That's the watch that made this. It's a collaboration. Rough X Nizumi. Nizumi X Rough. So, enough talk. Let's do this. Oh, even more suspense. It's all in the watch experience. Box in a box. Showtime. I'm not upside down, am I? There we go. Close one. Close call. <whistles> yeah, baby. That's what I'm talking about. This is where the fun begins. We got Nizumi right there. That's the logo, what we saw on the outside of the box. And what are we doing? Let's just get this out. Take a look at it. So actually, we don't even need to take this out. Careful, because it's not buckled. It slides right out. Close this. Set it aside. The star of the show. Boom. Double domed sapphire glass. That is nice. First things first, let's take this off. So my sneakerhead subscribers, if you're still there, still watching, this is my first watch video and I think I'll be making some more. So I hope you stick around for those because watches are even better investments than shoes. Okay, so definitely the hardest part of unboxing this watch was taking off the blue covering on the crown there. I looked up other videos to see how other people did it, but I couldn't find any. I think I'm the only person out of the 200 people to get this watch to make a video. What do you guys think that says about me? It says I'm 1 out of 200. It says I got the goods. Rough. Nizumi. I'm the guy. Or, I mean, I could have just looked up another Nizumi watch unboxing and see how they did it, but I learned that I might be the only one doing a video on this, so... The car lovers watching this, rough guys, you're welcome. Moving on, we got the tachymeter. This band right here is leather, lost focus again. Leather band, and it's real. <laughs> yep. Take a look at the back. Nizumi, rough, limited to 200. Your number, pretty small, but there's your reminder. 76 out of 200. Stainless steel, sapphire crystal, made in Germany. Voiture. That's right. This is as classic as you go with Nizumi. The first chronograph, Voiture. Kind of got a 60s and 70s look to it. Like I said, this is still going in Germany time. But what's going on on the inside of this watch? Watch collectors, they like what their watch is running on. Automatic, mechanical, quartz. This is all three. It's a mecha quartz hybrid movement by Seiko. So how's it work? It has a battery powering the movement through coils and a quartz oscillator, but the chronograph is mechanically actuated and controlled. See, check this out. Here's how you know. The reset goes all the way back to one instantly. It doesn't have to go all the way around. Another very sweet thing about this watch. 
more about the part that people actually see the exterior notice the size 40 millimeters in diameter that is amazing amazing so much better than any ugly big size like 50 or 48 very lucky to have that size on this thank you for that i would much rather take this watch 100 times over the new tag cure porsche because that thing is disappointing so i'm making this watch sound really good but there's only 200 and it sounds like all hope is lost because is there anybody really selling these i know it might seem hopeless but here's a photo it sounds like there might be some kind of wave two for this and yeah maybe good news i think it's mostly bad news because when you start to make more of these it really starts to run the value down so i'm hoping we get a different color or something else so i think we should just get this on the wrist now because i think it's going to look really good just got to take off my no time to die seamaster that's right shark tooth bracelet just the way it's worn in the movie if you guys are interested let me know if you want one in the comments not the watch, sorry, if you want a video on this watch. Apologies. I'm actually going to use this as a reference because I want to get the watch running on my time, not the Germany time. Actually, since we're close enough now, I just realized I should probably mention this. We've got the stopwatch. It goes up to an hour, 24 hours in a day, and it counts the seconds. A main feature that I think a watch needs. Another reason that we're so lucky with this is that these guys actually cared enough not to add the date and totally mess up the design. I think that's another really good thing about this watch. If there was a date, it would probably be right there, but it's not, man. More love for this watch. So let's see how we get the time moving. Bingo. Now we're running. Can you actually hear this watch? Hang on, take a listen. Wait, hold your breath, hold your breath, it makes it better. All right. And since this thing on the back is kind of making a plastic bag sound, I'm going to go ahead and take that off. More peeling, this is the fun part. Bingo. Set that aside. Now, in my years, I've worn a lot of NATO and leather straps, and I think because I have it the hardest, you know, with the skinny wrist, that's probably why I prefer the clasp style more. But every once in a while, you got to go with this. And I still like it. Don't get me wrong. And boom, feeling good and looking good. Going to get some compliments on this because when people see this kind of class, they know you're vintage. They know you're classic. And when you know you're dealing with this kind of heritage, that's good on you. I also really like this shade of green too. Well, that's... Of course. By the way, we could talk about this book, but first I want to say to the sneakerheads watching, thanks. I know I don't usually do this, but I'm fashion and the kicks. So I appreciate you watching if you're still here. And to all the car guys, rough guys, Nazumi guys, and Porsche guys watching, thanks for watching as well. Leave a like. So let's take a look at that book. I'm expecting some history because it's a book. And I've given you guys a lot of that already, so you could pause if you need to. Ah, uh, yes. Memory lane. And here, son, is where I... Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, the stopwatch. Essential with the tachymeter. Pretty good feature for tracking speed. Ah, uh, here we go. Yellowbird. This is the car I was talking about from 1987. Record-breaking. 211 miles per hour. Rough CTR Yellowbird. Now, you're probably wondering, what is the connection between Porsche and Ruff? Is it owned by each other? Or what's the deal? What Ruff does is they get unmarked Porsche chassis, which are known as bodies in white. And they get those and they build off of them and make these awesome cars. And that's how it's done. Oversimplified. All right. And after that, we've pretty much just got warranty and German address. And boom. And that's pretty much it for this watch. Thanks a lot for watching. Get it. If you'd like to see more watch videos from me, please let me know in the comments, because if you don't, I'm probably going to take that personally, so please just let me know. And uh, for the sneakerheads out there, I've got the Air Dior video coming out. Don't forget about it. Stay tuned. I'm going to be doing a lot of cool things in that video, going to the skate park, doing other stuff, all the things you should be doing with $10,000 shoes, right? So that's pretty much all I've got for you. The fashion and the kicks, signing off. Oh, and also, last reminder, I'll probably be taking some photos and videos and posting them on my Instagram and TikTok, so if you want, you could check that out. Stay tuned for the next one.